What's up guys, it's P9 back at it again and welcome to a new video. In today's video, I would like to go over all the new additions and changes that came with today's Elver update. First things first, we have new bunkers on the Elver map. In order to find the bunkers easier, I have made a sheet for you, a downloadable picture, which I'm going to link in the description. Uh, this is what it looks like. It shows all the eight new Elver bunker locations. To have an easier time finding them, just click on the shard button in the bottom right here. The first of the eight bunkers is located here, right above the C1 on the map here. Those bunkers are being used for players to fortify and use as a base. For example, if you just start off a server, eight groups are able to fortify those. Every bunker comes with disadvantages and advantages. So here we could just place a door like this and it would be pretty much your bunker already. Every single bunker has a different layout and this one has water, for example. This you can use to fish. Uh, here you can put another door if you like. There's a ladder here which you can climb up to climb up uh, there's some ground some soil ground for uh, for your plants so you can plant whatever you want if you would like corn you could plant in corn even though i don't even know if corn exists on elver but yeah you could do that i uh, could put indoors on every single one just to make it more secure this really reminds me of my old king of the hill server where you had bases and could fortify them as well which is pretty cool. So if we put a door in every possible doorway, we have this base here. You would need one door to come from the top, and then a second one you have to go through, and then a third one. So four doors to the loot room. The next bunker A is located right here, um, close to the D2, a bit or left, uh, top right of the D1 grid here. And this one actually has a hatch here to enter. So here we could put in a hatch. This is the first step to protect the space. We could close it again if I could reach it. Oh, it's a bit hard. There we go. Uh, this would be the second door here. And then we would have a big room here and one more door here. So it is pretty small. The next bunker C is located underneath this E3 grid here, right here where I am currently located at. Uh, which takes one door again to fortify. And then we have a lot of rooms left and right. We have one room here, we have one room here, and even with a little window here. So you could put in a one-way glass or a bulletproof glass or whatever you'd like. Um, it even has an own uh, private personal mine here. So you could mine some resources. It has some ramps left and right, which looks pretty cool. And yeah, it's like a long shaped base. Uh, there's some rooms left and right, and there's a second entrance slash exit over here as well next bunker g is located right here next to the e5 grid here still in the e4 top right of it uh, which again takes the door to fortify and then it goes down there's a long staircase here and there's just rooms on every single layer here there's room here there's a room here there's room here a room here a room here a room here a room here and uh, yeah this is the base. So it would be a gamble for the raiders to really find the room that the loot is in. The next bunker F over here is um, around centered of the C5 grid here. And this one takes a gate to fortify. A gate or uh, double doors. You could use either of them. And pretty much is a mine to enter. So you have a personal mine here. You have one metal node here. You could fortify this with a door as well. But uh, yeah, this th that's about it. Next bunker E is the big one. And it's located in the top left of the B5 grid and this one takes two gates or two double doors to fortify the main big entrance here and then a door left and right as well as you can tell you could probably even as you can tell this is meant to store cars and everything in here but then again there is a big one here and door left and right as well but this is a perfect base to store in every sort of uh, vehicles next bunker bunker h is located pretty centered in a three right here takes again one gate or double doors to fortify on the entrance and then is pretty much a, a round base with a loot room here in the middle this is pretty much it. Only two doors or two doorways to go through. The next bunker, Bunker D, is right next to the farm over here. And underneath the safe zone. Takes one door to the front. There's a second door here. A third if you would like. But basically you can enter that room from both sides anyways. It's a really small bunker, but it is really easy accessible from the safe zone. And that's pretty much it. Those were the eight bunkers that got added to Elver today. So if you log onto your favorite server and they updated the map, you can go ahead and use those bunkers. If you guys would like to play on my brand new Elva vanilla server, one located in Europe, one located in America, and one located in Singapore, Asia, then join my Panda server Discord in the description. All the Elva vanilla servers will go online tonight. Elva now also features five more paintings. The first one being this one, the second one this, this is the third one, the fourth, 
And last but not least, the fifth, a metal bar roof has been added as well. Which can be used to see something through it. I don't know if you can shoot through it actually. But you can't go through it, obviously. Yes, you can shoot through it. All water sources have been made dirty instead of clean. And the random cow quest now requires the player to kill 10 cows instead of 25. Denebi, which is one of the Elva developers, also mentioned that this is the second last update to the Elva map. The map slowly but surely comes to an end more and more. And the way it's currently being played and the way it is, is how the developers imagined the map to be. The last update should come out closer to Halloween. And with that being said, I would like to mention that it's kind of sad. Not sad as in how dare they like how could they do that to us but sad as in i'm kind of sad i mean elva is the best map in unturned like there's no doubt playing elva actually brought me so much joy and really got me back into the game and back into uploading content if it was up to me i would like them to update the map even more adding new guns vehicles items maybe bases maybe more bunkers some sort of underwater bunkers, um, all those of stuff that would bring even more possibilities into Antrun Elva, I would really like to see in the future. But unfortunately, the way it looks like right now is that this is not going to be the case. However, I really hope that Danaby and Renox and the main developers of the map are going to work on a second map soon. Maybe not something like Elver, but something really unique and a very unique setting that also brings unique gameplay and that would just be so nice to see. However guys, I really hope you did enjoy this video. If you have, make sure to leave a like, leave a comment on what you think about the Elver update and about the fact that Elver is not going to be updating soon anymore and subscribe to not miss out on new content. With that being said, hope you guys have a great rest day and I'll see you in the next one. Bye. And don't forget to join my Anton Service Discord. Um, I'm actually going to release many servers soon. So yeah, join.